Банде Гуру Падат Дандам Бхакта Бинда Сананнитам Се Чайтанна Павам Банде Нитананда Саудитам Се Нанда Ванча калпадар вача ке басин дубва вача Патитанам павуне бва вишнави бью наму нама Мукан каруди вача алан панглан хет грим Ят ке пата маханг банди парама нанду мадвам Шнапати паде деви саттватве наму нама Нарайра намаскитта наранча иванаттама Девин сарасвати нивасан тату жайо мудире Санкиртане кишна кату пудеши Гаурия патрашо пракаса неча Шарану ракта гуру бхакти юкта Бхакти Прамадакша Джагот Парана Дейям Сада Пари Бхабагнам Абиштадухам Итхас Падам Сива Веринчинутам Сараннам Итхатихам Панутубал Бхабати Кутам Банде Махапурушати Чарана Равиндам Ят Пада Паллабанаха Чандамани Чатая Бисфуруджи, так и мапига в воду, что держи, Пурнану рагора, сосагора, сара мути, сара дика, мы када, Иван Караси, Сри Кришна Чайтанна, Прагунита, Ананда, Сиаддайта, Вада, Дарасива, Сади, Гаура, Бхакта, Винда, Хари, Кришна, Хари, Кришна. Кришна, Кришна, Харе, 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 Рам, Харе, Рам, 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 Харе. Аджану ламбита бужау канока будато, Шанкиртаной капитару камала ятакшо, Вишам баро дижа баро югадар мапало. Банде Ягат Прия Кару, Каруна Батару, Хари Кишна, Хари Кишна, 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 Хари, 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 Рам, Хари, Рам, 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 Хари, Хари, Намами Ганге Сура Сурайр Вандито Дибарупам Буктин Чамуктин Чадада Синитам Бхавану Рупена Садана Ранам Ганга Таранга Рамани Аджата Калапам Гаури Нирантара Вибуши Табама Нарайяну прием анангамада парам парам зигуравати бхажави шанатам ваги шаджушу бадане лакшмир джашача бакшаси джасья Хари Кришна, Хари Кришна, 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 Хари, 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 Рам, Хари, Рам, 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 Хари, Хари. Кирам, Ята, Дади, Викар, Висе, Саджога. Саньяя те нахита таха притага стихета. Я сам батам апита та сумупай тикария. Гавинда мади пуршам тамахам 
क्षीरम यथा दधि विकार विशेष जोगा संजायते न ही तत पृथक अस्ति हेतः या संभुताम अभी तथा सौंपयित कार्यात गोविंदमादि पुरुषम तम हम भजामि गौड़ीय गोष्ठीपति गौड़ीय गोष्ठीपति श्री शिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमस जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट वैष्णव दे आर द टॉप मोस्ट वर्शिपेबल ऑब्जेक्ट फॉर अस वैष्णव आर द टॉप मोस्ट वर्शिपल द मोस्ट रेयरेस्ट ऑफ ऑल नॉट एट ऑल वर्शिपेबल फॉर अस बट ऑल्सो फॉर इट इज एक्चुअल वर्शिपेबल फॉर भगवान एज वेल गौड़ीय गोष्ठीपति शिशिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती को स्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमहंस जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट वैष्णव दे आर द ओनली वर्शिपेबल ऑब्जेक्ट फॉर अस फॉर अस बट फॉर भगवान ऑल्सो दे आर द टॉप मोस्ट वर्शिपेबल ऑब्जेक्ट वैष्णव फॉर दिस भगवान एक्चुअली रिटर्न इन भागवत जी महापुराण रिगार्डिंग दिस दैट आई एम एक्चुअली रनिंग बिहाइंड माई ओन डिवोटिस दैट आई एम एक्चुअली रनिंग बिहाइंड डिवोटिस वाई दैट दैट द डस्ट ऑफ द लोटस फीट ऑफ द प्योर डिवोटिस आई एम एक्चुअली टेकिंग ऑन माई हेड भगवान स्पीकिंग दिस that i am actually want to make myself pure by that lotus feet of pure devotees that's why actually i'm running behind devotees why because when devotees will be going ahead their, their dust particle will be just coming uh, on the back side and it will just uh, go on to my body and in my body trans in infinity brahmand is there inside my body everything is there in my body that's why actually i'm just running behind all those pure devotees that vaishnavas they don't have any fault in them at all prabhupad always used to speak that vaishnav means that when vaishnav you are actually thinking you are speaking him vaishnav and you are understanding that he is vaishnav so how he can have that kind of fault in him if he, that vaishnav what kind of fault they have in them not at all no fault can be there in vaishnav at all that we we are actually actually thinking that he is vaishnav and again we are actually taking uh, faults in him so it is actual vichar of mayavadi it's not at all good vaishnav in order to just uh, see fault in them it is strictly prohibited to see any kind of fault in vaishnavs that if you are just uh, taking uh, some faults into consideration in a vaishnav that vaishnav don't have any fault in them at all vaishnav no not at all can f- one fault be there in vaishnav inside us there can be lot of faults that i am actually the treasure of treasure of faults i have treasure of faults in, inside myself only i have treasure of faults inside um, in myself only that i am actually full of faults that's why i am actually finding faults in vaishnav this is my actual uh, thinking why because they don't have any kind of faults but that same fault is actually there inside me that's why i am actually seeing the faults in the vaishnav those if you will be seeing the faults in someone definitely vaishnavs don't have any fault in them at all no fault is there with the vaishnav at all some vaishnav there is no fault in them at all the vaishnav there can be cannot be any fault in vaishnav at all how can one fault you can find fault in vaishnav no fault is there in vaishnav at all so that fault which is there already inside yourself vaishnavs are actually without any fault they are, don't have any fault in them at all that vaishnavs they have 26 qualities about this it is written there in the shastras the 26 qualities are there already in the special qualities are there in vaishnav otherwise there are infinity 26 are actually very far at infinity qualities are there inside vaishnav but only 26 are there written specifically in the shastras that vaishnav inside vaishnav that uh, infinity qualities are there there is no fault in vaishnav even 
that 26 special qualities in the Vaishnav that you if you point out that that it's already just mentioned in the Shastras but Mahaprabhu actually speaking regarding this that Vaishnav inside their heart that infinity uh, glorification can remain because Vaishnav is the actual treasure of all the qualities whether it you can see just 26 qualities inside a Vaishnav this is actually Dik Darshan in order to have the actual uh, Dik Darshan of their qualities just indication if you can get what is that That is the Swarup Lakshan, Krishna Kasharan, and others are Tathastha Lakshan. Swarup Lakshan in that, that is the center point. If Swarup Lakshan, if Swarup Lakshan is not at all there, then that other kind of Tathastha Lakshan are actually all useless. If Swarup Lakshan is not at all there, and that no kind of shame is there in them, then all kind of uh, gunavali all qualities regarding uh, it will not if uh, they are, will be just realizing that that kind of quality is there but all kind of tatasta lakshan is all useless if swarup lakshan is missing that inside the qualities of vaishnav if you can see that lot of times we are actually seeing faults in guru vaishnav my luck is so bad my luck is so good that lot of faults I have seen in Guru Vaishnava. Oh, very good. Huh? So good luck I have. That definitely I will go quickly into hell like this by finding, finding faults in Vaishnava. <laughs> These all qualities, special qualities are there in a Vaishnav, you can find. And other qualities, that infinity qualities are there in Vaishnav apart from this. It's already there in Vaishnav up till this point. In Chaitanya Jirtam, it's also it's written regarding this. That, that same Vaishnav Thakur, there is no fault at all in him at all. That same Vaishnav Thakur, they do, it is not at all possible to have faults in them. Then that same Vaishnav, I have just seen lacks of faults in him. That is my Vaishnav Darshan. Prabhupada used to speak that for Vaishnav, those who want to uh, see fault in them, Prabhupada actually just uh, giving answer regarding this question. Who are who are actually finding faults in uh, uh, Guru Vaishnav? Uh, Prabhupada actually answering regarding this question. Who has that kind of uh, courage? That uh, kind of uh, gunavali, the, that defects you are actually finding uh, in inside uh, Vaishnav about that. In Upadesh Amrit also, Sri Rupa Goswami Pad actually already speaking that Vaishnav has in the transcendental body there is no fault at all. No fault is there at all. It is not at all possible that there can be any fault in the body of a inside Vaishnav. There is no possibility that any kind of defect can be there in Vaishnav. But we are actually seeing some defect. How? How it is possible? How we are finding fault? Prabhupada speaking. Prabhupada speaking. That faults or defects. Who actually are, are seeing that? Those who are actually, those who are actually Hari Vimukh, those who are not at all doing Bhagavad Bhajan at all. Those who are not at all doing Bhagavad Bhajan, they are actually finding faults in Guru Vaishnav. They are actually finding faults in Guru Vaishnav. Those who are not at all doing Hari Bhajan, that uh, they are actually Hari Vimukh, they will be definitely finding faults in Guru Vaishnava. Rupa Goswami, what he has written?
वैष्णव दे डोंट हैव एनी काइंड ऑफ फिजिकल और बॉडली फॉल्ट और बिहेवियर फॉल्ट देर कैन कांट बी देर बट देर कैन बी वन फॉल्ट दैट दिस इज द एक्चुअल नेचुरल फंक्शन ऑफ द बॉन्डेड जीवा दैट दे विल बी फाइंडिंग फॉल्ट इन गुरु वैष्णव दैट्स वाई रूप गोस्वामी पाद हैज रिटन दिस रिगार्डिंग गुरु वैष्णव दैट इन गंगा वॉटर लॉट ऑफ बबल्स यू कैन सी इन साइड गंगा वॉटर ऑल काइंड ऑफ टर्टी uh bubbles and all sand particles or dust particle you can see on that but still be careful about this point but still be careful about this point that whatever you are seeing in ganga about that all those dirty dust particles this and that water inside ganga water all kind of uh, bad dirt and whatever you are finding that but dirty bubbles and you can find externally it's already written in shastra rup goswami pad speaking what to do that in ganga water lot of bubbles dirty dirty bubbles and all kind of dust particles you can find externally but be sure about this that be sure about that that inside ganga water that that brahmadavatya that this brahm river there is actually no kind of fault touching that that is top most pure river but still there is some fault you can find that's why our pundrik vidyane ji in at the night time he used to go to the bank of ganga ji and he used to just pray pranam on the lotus feet of ganga devi why because inside ganga if the he will be finding any kind of fault in ganga ji then that, that apart from that that kind of uh, dangerous situation can't be there at all that is the top most dangerous situation at all in your life if you can find any fault in uh, ganga ji in the same manner pundrik vidyane ji used to do like this so whatever be the case now propa actually speaking the propa yatak ki up till this that uh, pundrik vidyane ji also he used to take ganga water first and then he used to do archan but actually it is the actual rule that before puja even one drop of water you don't need to take at all it is strictly prohibited to take but still pundrik vidyane ji used to take water uh of ganga ji and then he used to sit for archan because he used to think that ganga ji is top most pure and after that i'll be doing archan because i'll get pure uh before the archan so this is the actual thoughts of all the pure vaishnav so those those who are hari vimukh those who are bhagwat vimukh those people who are from externally by external vichar they are actually guided by that external vichar of maya and by their own conception just by their material sense organs they are taking the support of that and they are finding faults in pure guru vaishnav what he actually knows about know about pure guru vaishnav so this this spiritual so this by the spiritual vichar that vaishnav darshan can be possible and he that's why is uh, be, uh, getting uh, cheated in that vaishnav darshan vaishnav is swap prakash self manifested it and my self manifested and uh, there is no kind of uh, any faults maybe materially you can see externally they are they are having fault in gita also krishna speaking that uh, bhagavad bhakta they don't be having any amangal in their life at all that bhagavad bhakta they will not at all get destroyed those people who are actually doing ananya bhajan all the time those who are doing ananya bhajan all the time for them 
there is no kind of fall down at all in their life those who are doing ananya bhajan whether any question can come in their life that they will fall down from their bhajan they their consciousness will fall they will fall down from their bhajan not at all why they will actually get the actual mangal in their life that in uh, our our in our darshan we are actually finding that they are not, they have they are having nothing that according to our, our darshan our darshan are having material fault that's why we are actually finding faults in others we are actually all the time finding defects in others that our own mangal we are not at all uh, arranging that at all that if we are becoming spiritual in our life then that kind of adoksha seva we will not get fall down from that adoksha seva at all this cannot be possible at all if i am becoming spiritual that adoksha seva i will be getting away from that guru pad guru pad padma seva i will be getting away from that that uh, for our own amangal i will be getting own mang- amangal is there in my life so that's why i am actually seeing the um, amangal in the life of others and i am feel uh, seeing the defects and this kind of thinking is coming all the time inside my mind that uh, about others amangal this kind of uh, vichar is actually coming inside our mind all the time that i am myself i am myself i am myself thousands and thousands of faults and defects are there i am actually covered up uh, myself and actually i am connected with that so that's why i am actually able to see the faults in others so that's why i am actually enjoying a lot in finding faults in other this is my actual bhajan <laughs> if at uh, that day that for my own mangal if i will be thinking if that day if i will be thinking of my own own mangal at that time that whole material world you will not be finding faults in any of the other any of the person and all the wish to see faults in other defects in other will completely destroy from your heart in this shloka it is written that especially today actually this is the actual arrangement of bhagwan today is shri shiv mahashivratri tithi is there and and this is the actual arrangement of bhagwan we saw leela that today actually this is the actual leela of bhagwan how oh, how it is possible you see so what does it mean actually that our shankar bhagwan today is the tithi of shankar bhagwan today is the mahashivratri tithi this is the definitely you just need to follow it completely definitely it is very much important to follow it's already written in hari bhakti vilas in hari bhakti vilas that shivratri is a must for all the vaishnavas you need to perform that very with full uh, uh, enthusiasm you have to follow the shloka the shloka which i have already started there actually it is written that milk like milk is actually transformed like milk milk is actually transformed by the actual transformation process milk is becoming converted into curd but still the actual cause from it is a non different from milk maybe the milk has actually transformed into curd already it is actually converted into curd but the in that milk that actual original cause original reason there is no defect or fault in that at all 
मिल्क इज द एक्चुअल कॉज इट द तत्व इज एक्चुअली ऑल द सेम इट इज नॉट अ डिफरेंट तत्व एट ऑल फ्रॉम मिल्क इट इज नॉट एट ऑल डिफरेंट फ्रॉम मिल्क सो लाइक दिस दैट सेम गोविंद दैट भगवान गोविंद दैट फॉर अ स्पेशल वर्क दैट काइंड इज गेटिंग दैट शंभुता इट मीन्स दैट ही हिमसेल्फ इज गेटिंग ट्रांसफॉर्म इज टेकिंग द स्वरूप ऑफ शंभु and that same adi purush govind i am actually worshiping that adi purush govind kiram jathat bhi dikar vishesh hoga sanyayati na hi tatha dagasti hetu ya samuta bhi tatha sampai dikhriya govind adi purusham tamam mahesh dham ka that mahesh dham about that i have already told you regarding that सदाशिव तत्व सदाशिव सदाशिव लोक इज एक्चुअली इक्वल टू वैकुंठ लोक ओनली इट इज नॉट डिफरेंट फ्रॉम वैकुंठ लोक सदाशिव लोक सदाशिव धाम वैकुंठ जगत से अलग इट इज नॉट डिफरेंट फ्रॉम वैकुंठ जगत इट इज ऑल द सेम अद्वैत गोसाई जी About that, in Advaita Ashtami, I have already told you. Mahavishnu Jagat Karta Mayaya Jo Sujati Adha Dasha Vataro Ev Ayam Advaita Acharya Swaya. Advaita Acharya Swaya. That Advaita Acharya Himself is Sadashiv. That is topmost Vishnu Tattva and Sadashiv Mahavishnu and Sadashiv Tattva is all the same. So in that Mahesh Dham, that manifestation. That that kind of sim- 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 have already described you. I have already told you, you know, you haven't, uh, you are not at all remembering it. Lot of days before, I have already told you this point. Here in that it has come. That there I told. That this is actually Devi Dham where actually are uh, sitting. It is all fourteen worlds, planetary system, lower and upper planetary system. It is all coming in Devi Dham. Above, above Devi Dham, that Mahesh Dham, Sada Shiv Dham, it will come, and it is actually beyond that uh, Maya, Maya, the Maya, Shadow Maya, Maha Maya. That Sada Shiv Dham. Sada Shiv Dham. Above after Sada Shiv Dham. Sadashiv Dham is Vakunth only. After that, there is one strategy. Stay one one. Slowly, steadily, you can proceed further. And all Vakunth Nam Nishinga Bara. Every manifestation of Bhagwan is there. And after that, when you come go more up, more go more deep and up, then that Shweta Dham will come. Navadip Dham, Vrindavan. It is all the same. No difference. शंभु इज नॉट इट इज नॉट डिफरेंट फ्रॉम कृष्ण शंभु शंभु He is not different from Krishna. Shambhu, Shambhu, Krishna se. Shambhu is actually not different from Krishna and uh, a separate. Parameshwar. He is not at all a separate Parameshwar uh, from Govind. If someone actually thinking that Shankar Bhagwan is actually Parameshwar, Ganesh is also Parameshwar. Krishna is also Parameshwar. If someone is thinking like this, is actually totally wrong conception. Shankar Bhagwan definitely is Bhagwan, but he is actually by the manifestation of Shakti of Bhagwan, by the Shakti of Bhagwan, Shankar Bhagwan is getting that Shakti. That by the kripa of Bhagwan only that Shakti is there. persisting and 
that Brahma Ji's Shakti is also is from Bhagwan. That Shakti is coming. It is not at all a separate Shakti. This is this cannot be a separate thing. But if someone is thinking that Shankari Bhagwan is a different separate Parmeshwar, this is actually a wrong conception. This is not at all good to think like that. Parameshwar is one and the one and the same. That's what I've already told in Brahma Samhita. This is one all the same tattva. What I've already described you. That in all the rivers, that Yamuna you can't count at all because it is the actual uh, uh, homemade wish of Bhagwan. Nimnaganam yatha Ganga. That in out of all the rivers, Ganga is the topmost. That is the topmost of all the rivers. In the in the devas, that Achyut Bhagwan is topmost. And Vaishnavana Vaitasam. And of all the Vaishnavas, topmost Vaishnav is Shambhu. So Krishna, so Krishna Shankar, Shankar, they are not at all separate. Parmeshwar, Parmeshwar is one only. That Shambhu is actually non different from, uh, not at all uh, separate entity from Krishna. It is. It is not different from Krishna and Shankar and Narayan Vishnu. This kind of uh, uh, difference, if you will be finding that they, it is actually uh, topmost aparadi onto lotus feet of Bhagwan. That Shambhu's Ishwarta and Govind Ishwarta. It is actually under the guidance of Govind. So, so, the actual lakshan of that abhita like milk is actually transformed into curd that especially that ishwar is actually taking a separate form that he is becoming a independent separately that same different swarup is actually taking that bhagwan by his own will taking the form of shankar in that is actually different from that Ishwar Tattva, but same similarly at the same time that uh, the actual uh, Lakshan of the Abhay Tattva, that even the milk is getting tra- like the milk is getting transformed into curd especially it is actually transformed into curd but still just by taking that shape of curd getting transformed into curd but the actual cause of that is the milk only but still it is uh, Ishwar actually taking a different form but at the same time he is the Paratatva it means actually it is a servant of Bhagwan. in that Swarup he is finding in which Swarup that in Shankar Swarup there is no in, uh, in some independence he, this Swarup is lacking in Shankar Swarup that kind of uh, independence is lacking Srila Rupa Goswami Pad also written in Kirtan regarding this Lot of Kirtan are there. So this Abed Tattva, the actual Lakshan is that like milk is getting transformed into curd. But still, that it is not at all independent at all. It is dependent on someone. That same Swarup, it is that in that Swarup of Shankar, there is not at all complete independence. That Maya, Stamogun, Tathastha Shakti, Sarvatagun, and Maya Stamogun is there, Tathastha Shakti, Sagutagun is there. Just be careful on this point that Bhagwan Shapar Swarup, that independent, that kind of thing is not at all there. Because 
In the Ishwa Swarup, there is no independent. In the Maya Swarup, this is actually totally Tamagun. And the Jeevas are actually Tathasta Shaktis. It is actually very light Tattva, that uh, Jeev Tattva. Very, very light Tattva. There is no power at all in Jeev Tattva. Tathasta is actually part of Tathasta Shakti. And so Maya Stamagun is that Tathasta Shakti is Sarvata Gun is there. Very minor, very light Tattva is there. Any, anytime they can fall down, Jeevas. And Chit Shakti maybe very slight Khaladini Mishrit Sambit you can find when it is actually getting mixed very special knowledge you can get out of that Khaladini Mishrit Sambit by this Vikar that special Yukta Saransh Saransh Bhava Bhash it is not at all Saransh this is not at all Saransh. Saransh, lot of it, is actually meaning that lot of Swarup of Bhagwan, like Samkarshan, they are actually Saransh. This is actually Saransh Abhas Swarup, that Shankar Tattva, that Shambhu, what you can see. This is actually Abhas of Saransh Bhava Abhas. But that uh, Ishwar in the form of Shampur Linga, that Sadashiv Swarup is getting in native head state. That it is actually that Rudra Dev actually is coming out of that. Rudra Dev actually is coming out of that manifestation of Sadashiv only. So Shampur Linga is Sadashiv. And like this, Rudra Dev is actually getting manifestation from there. Rudra Dev is getting manifestation from this same Sadashiv Tattva. There from Rudra Dev is getting manifested from there, Sadashiv. And that's why. That's why like this, in the same manner, that Maya Stamagun, Tathasta Shakti, Sarvatagun, very light, which is very light quality, no power is there, it is very without any power because it is infinitesimal. And Chit Shakti is there, that Mishrit, Haladini and uh, Samvit mixture, that kind of characteristic, it is just one kind of Abhas, that kind of uh, Abhas you can get in that, that same Vikar Vishesh. Uh, yukta, that kind of same mixing of Haladini and Sambit by this uh, transformation of that mixture of uh, Haladini and Sambit that kind of uh, Saransh Chaturme Shambulinga Swarup Sadashiv Swarup is getting manifested and from that Sadashiv that Rudra Swarup is getting manifested that Rudra Rudra Swarup Rudra Dev is actually getting manifested from that Swarup Rudra is not at all one it is actually of the 12 in the actual creation karya dravya is in the creation uh, there are two things in one is nimitt karan and one is upadan karan in nimitt karan that is mahavishnu that he is just by seeing that in the womb of maya devi that that shakti is getting manifested there in the womb of maya devi in the womb of prakriti maya devi that Shakti is getting manifested means that all the Jeeva uh, Shakti getting inside the womb of uh, Maya Devi that Mahavishnu just by seeing on the womb of Maya Devi just by seeing her that all the Jeevas are actually getting uh, manifested according to their previous karma inside the womb of Maya Devi they are getting transferred into the womb of Maya Devi uh, just by taking their previous karma in the creation uh, in the creation there are two things important one is Upadan Kara and the second one is Nimit Karan. Upadan Karan means that Sadashiv Bhagwan actually is giving that. And Nimit Karan means that Mahavishnu Swam actually just seeing the Maya Devi directly. The, in the creation uh, work, in, there's some kind of Asura demons in the Stiti Karya. Like Bhagwan actually already speaking regarding this in the Stiti Karya. In the Stiti, in the creation. At the starting of the creation means. Stiti means maintaining the creation. This already is there. And in Gita also it is already written. In Gita also it is written like that. 
परित्राणय साधुना बिना सहायो दुष्कृत This already Bhagwan has spoken. So whatever be the case, that in the Shristi Karya, in the creation work, that Nimit Karan and Upadhan Karan two are prominent. That Advait Goswami Sadashiv, all these Mahatattva and five elements are coming. In the creation, Stiti means in the Lila, in the work of Lila, some kind of demons are actually killed. All kind of. Uh, Uh, all kind of uh, things you can see by killing of the demons this kind of saransh bhav that bhav upan that saransh bhav it is actually not different from that shambhu govind is actually taking that form of shambhu in saransh bhav that shambhu that same shambhu swarup that kal uh, in kal swarup actually is getting manifested it's written there in the shastra In Bhagavat Gita, actually, it is written. The actual meaning regarding this is that that all Bhagavat Vajan, what it's written, the actual purport is that that Shambhu, uh, his own Shambhu, he just by his Kal Shakti and actually by the will of Govind, he is actually getting uh, one with Dur- Durga Devi, associate with Durga Devi, and he is just uh, um, uh, employing the creation work. In the Shastra is also that. इन द अधिकार वेद ऑफ ऑल द जीवस दे विल बी गेटिंग भक्ति एंड द काइंड ऑफ इंस्ट्रक्शन रिगार्डिंग हाउ दे विल गेट भक्ति इन दिस इज द एक्चुअल हाउ टू डोनेट दैम दिस इज वन काइंड ऑफ प्रोसीडियर रिटर्न हाउ टू डोनेट एंड इन द तांत्रादि एक्सेट्रा ऑल दो शास्त्र दैट अकॉर्डिंग टू देयर अधिकार दैट इन ऑर्डर टू गेट द डिफरेंस I wanted to get bhakti, that kind of difference, and the instructions already it's getting donated in all the shastra, just by the will of Govind, Krishna, by the actual will of Govind, that all Govind, Maya Vadi, Pulkit, Agam, uh, which are against Shuddh Bhakti, all those Maya Vadi shastras, Agam, are actually getting uh, manifested in order to protect that pure bhakti from all those Maya Vadi conception, that tantra, the etc., all those shastras. according to the all those according to the uh, adhikar of the jeevas that kind of slab what they are having this uh, like that that kind of instructions are given to them according to their adhikar they have got from their previous work but by the actual will of govind krishna that mayavad that agam uh, different different ways are actually getting uh, manifested so that all those shuddh bhakti can get protected from all those mad demons that pure guru vishnu of the can inside it will not at all come inside them at all that should in the lineage of shuddh bhakti so that some contamination cannot get inside that that's why the bhagwan is arranged everything like that govin this by the will of govin and in shambhu that 50 50 qualities are there 50 special qualities are there in shambhu That whatever there are inside the jivas, but in shambhu, that that fifty qualities of all the jivas, that it is actually more than infinity. Maybe fifty qualities are already there in shambhu of the jivas also. The fifty qualities of the jivas definitely already there in shambhu in abundance, all the time present there in shambhu, and the jivas. That that what jivas cannot get in their life, that kind of special gunavali characteristics they cannot attain in their life. The actual special characteristic is definitely other. So shambhu is not at all jiv at all, but still it is just like jiv. It seems like jiv that you are speaking. You cannot speak shambhu as jiva, but he, it is actually Ishwar Tattva. and it is uh, non different from that uh, ishwar is actually getting uh, um, manifested simultaneously uh, in front of us and he is just showing that tatva in front of us and if we'll be going ahead now then we can see that here it is written regarding that Here it is actually getting compared with one uh, lamp, la uh, fire lamp. It is actually just compared with that. Why actually is compared with the lamp, uh, fire lamp? 
here the actual reason behind this is that that one topmost adi deep it is actually all the time continuously burning and that same burning lamp you are taking that and you are just uh, burning the other lamp with that and if you will be just giving them the ignition by that same lamp which is already burning it's already burning that adi adi deep adi light lamp and from other by that same uh, light lamp i am actually igniting the other lamp so it looks like that it is all the same externally but that's why but originally it is one and the same but some difference is there definitely if you will be making this kind of conception it is all the same externally it looks the same if you make this kind of vichar then it's all the same it looks all the same but still original that same original uh, lamp it is actually getting ignited and all those foolish people that uh, and sorry and from that main uh, light lamp you are getting to getting to see that same lamp ignited by that original lamp so that same principal pradeep principal lamp from that principal lamp thousands of lamps you have burnt but you have forgot the actual principal lamp so this is the actual comparative statement that from the same lamp the other lamps were actually ignited from that same principal lamp and you can you are using that to light the other lamps so that from the same principal lamp you are igniting thousands of lamps by that uh, igniting that all the lamps you are igniting by that same principal major major lamp it it can just enlighten all the other lamps as well so with saman dharma with full saman dharma it is it, it looks like that it is all the same so like this vishnu and cha vishnu bhav there is that same adi purush govind i am actually want to do i want to worship that adi purush govind that same adi purush govind the actual meaning is that here that hari dham uh, manifestation main master is hari narayan is getting that name like that and that sanash tatva is actually manifested and the krishna's vilas murti param brahma that parambati param brahm prati narayan and that adya avatar purush tadya ansh karbodakshai vishnu khirudakshai mahavishnu and karbodakshai mahavishnu karnadakshai mahavishnu and from this wish by this vishnu word that same vishnu tatva is that is the tadya all the all manifested tatva tadya all manifested tatva it is and in this shloka only that khiro dakshay mahavishnu about that in this shloka same shloka khiro dakshay mahavishnu in this same shloka khiro dakshay mahavishnu tatva is already manifested in front of us and just in order to manifest in front of us that swarup of khiro dakshay mahavishnu that saransh vishay nivrit it is getting in front of us that satya gun avatar satya gun avatar vishnu is satya gun avatar if someone actually questioning how vishnu is coming i am actually speaking vishnu is turya yes vishnu is turya 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 vastu it is not at all getting mixed with the rajaguna and tamaguna at all it means that this shloka i already told you regarding this only in this shloka what i have told you what is the special point the actual special point is that that vishnu that saransh vilas is actually getting manifested and satya guna avatar of vishnu tatva about that it is actually special about vishnu tatva why because vishnu uh, he is actually the no kind of uh, material modes of nature can uh, uh, touch vishnu 
how Brahma and Vishnu and Maheshwar, these three are there, that the creator, maintainer and the destroyer, they are actually not different from each other. But still, it is possible. How? Because he is actually Ishwar. Bhagwan Shankar is actually Ishwar. Bhagwan Shankar is actually Ishwar. And but still that uh, he actually accepted Tamagun and is the principal deity of Tamagun but Vishnu is the principal deity of Satyagun he is the actual principal deity of Satyagun Vishnu Vishnu Tattva may be cannot, can, cannot touch any kind of material contamination Maybe Brahmaji, Vishnu, Mahesh, all these three are one and the same Tattva. But just for the creation, maintenance and destruction of this material creation, but Vishnu Tattva has some speciality. This shlok in that, it's already described, this vichar is there. That Vishnu Tattva, maybe you can see that he is all the time is actually maintaining, but still, that material uh, creation, that Satoraja Tamagun, the three mode mixing of material nature, here, there Satogun is there, this Rajagun Tamagun is actually mixed. If you are actually separating it out, that Vishuddha Satvagun, it's already there in that Vishnu Tattva, in Vishnu Tattva, Vishnu, that principle it is getting manifestation in that Vishuddha Satvagun. So, other kind of uh, Lakshan cannot get uh, activated in uh, Vishnu. That's why Vishnu Tattva, I have already told. That's why it is written here. That's why it is written. That Satyagun Avatar. That's why it's written Satyagun Avatar. Satyagun Avatar, Vishnu Tattva. This material world, all kind of uh, material material uh, qualities it's uh, totally separate from the Vishnu Tattva it is not at all contaminating Vishnu Tattva at all that Govind the actual Swarup of Govind that that is the same Swarup of Vishnu only those are the, both are actually absolute Govind the actual Swarup of Govind what you see Vishnu Narayan Varaha Nirsinga everything you can see this is all one and the same Swarup these are all absolute and transcendental in nature but only in Shuddha Sattva, that Swarupata, it's already there in both Govind and Vishnu Tattva as well. That Shuddha Sattva, Swarupata, both of them having that already inside them. Means that Vishnu is actually, is actually the topmost manifesting deity and with Govind he is actually maintaining that same dharma. And that Trigunmai Maya, three modes of material nature inside that Maya, we all the time speaking, no? And in Trigunmai Maya, that Satoraja Tamogun, which is there in the Trigun, Trigun, Trigunmai Maya, that Satoraja Tamogun, what we can find? That Trigunmai Maya, that Satogun is actually principal. Why? Because Satoraja Tamagun, there is mixture of in this material creation. No person have only that only Satogun is there and only Rajogun is there in a particular person. It is not at all possible. This is totally misconception that Maharaj, that uh, how it is possible that only Satogun is there in a person, no Rajogun is there. So there is actually the admixture of Satoraja and Tamagun. This material creation, Sato Rajo Tamagun, there is one admixture of this all, all these material modes of nature. And by this admixture, just to serve these kind of material modes of nature, this is the actual uh, nature of the jivas. But in order to get out of all this, the only to take shelter of pure Guru Vaishnava, we can get out of that. So that is the actual process to get out of that. So that Trigun Maya, that Sato Rajo Tamagun is already there, but it's just one admixture. There is one mixing of that Satoraju and Tamagun. In that there is mixing in that. But still. But. In this Trigun Mai Maya. That Satogun definitely is there. And Satogun. Rajotamagun. It is actually getting admixed with that. 
satagun and mixed with rajo and tamagun it is getting contaminated Just be careful on this point. Brahma ji, that is Brahma ji having that rajogun externally, that saransh effect. This is very much difficult to do the translation also. What actually is written here? Brahma ji, that Rajogun Dito, that Brahma ji has definitely Rajogun. Brahma ji definitely have Rajogun inside. Not Saranj. This is not, it is Vibhinansh, but still it is Saranj. So Brahma. The effect of Saranj. Influence of Saranj is there inside, that is actually, that's why it is special. Otherwise, Brahma is actually the part of principal deity of Rajagun. It's the in charge of principal deity of Rajagun. And Brahma. Shambhu is the actual presiding deity of uh, Tamagun. And it is actually the so the influence of Saranch Bhav is there, but it is not a Saranch. The effect of Saranch is there. Vibhin Nansh means what is the actual cause of that Vibhin Nansh? What is the actual cause of Vibhin Nansh? I have already told you yesterday. What do you mean by Vibhin Nansh? Like Jeevas also, Vibhin. That, that countless Jeevas are also Vibhin Nansh. It's non different Tat from Bhagwan. Whatever infinity jivas are there, they are all vivinansh, non-different tattva from Bhagwan. But still, they are actually very small, light. But about this, that Shankar, what actually is spoken? It means that it is topmost, more upper, more and more upper than all those, all those countless jivas. That Shambhu. That Brahma is actually taking the charge, principal deity of Rajagun. And Shambhu, Shambhu is actually Sadashiv. And this Himalaya, what we can see, that Shankar Bhagwan is already there. Shambhu Maya ka Shambhu. He is actually in charge of Tamagun, Shambhu. Shambhu is actually in charge of Tamagun. Infinity Jeevas are also Vibhinansh because Shankar Bhagwan, they are actually more upper, at our upper platform. What is the actual cause of Vibhinansh? Why actually spoken Vibhinansh? The actual answer regarding this is that. The actual answer is that that the actual cause of Vibhinansh is that that uh, that uh, Maya Devi's Rajatamu Gunmai that Achit just be careful what I am speaking that Vibhinansh that the actual cause of Vibhinansh is that that Maya's Rajatamu Gun Akinchit means that there is no speciality in that that's why it is called Akinchit in that that the actual straight point is that that Maya in this material creation that Raja Satamagun is all actually useless that in order to just run this material creation otherwise it is not it is of no use at all just to maintain this material creation is going on so that's why Vibhin Ansh what do you mean by that Vibhin Ansh why are speaking that it means that Maya's Raja Tamagun it is actually very, very, it is all useless. It is just to run the material creation. It is of no use at all. But still it is of use in order to just run this material creation. So, just by speaking Akinchit, this word, that Tat, that Brahmaji and Shankarji, inside that, that Swayam Rup, 
that they are actually it is not at all speaking swayam roop and vibhinansh roop why because maya cannot touch any uh, the transcendental world at all like the case maya cannot touch the transcendental world at all that's why in the shastras it is written that virchai that kind of transcendental jivas are there above, above, above on the other side the devi is actually living there on the opposite side of the that karanvari that virja river maya devi can't touch the transcendental world maya devi can touch transcendental boundary it is not at all possible at all and we know that after going over brahmalok that that going out of satura jo tamogun when you will be going towards virja that chain my transcendental virja river after that you will be going towards that transcendental world that sadashiv world that jyotirmay one brahman effulgence when come impersonal impersonal brahm effulgence those all maya devi is actually going into that it will come first that brahm bhut that place and what actually gita is spoken this is actually different what is spoken in gita they actually want to go in brahm that all mayavadi they are thinking that is all impersonal brahm just to see this uh, actual uh, conclusion what i have given in gita that brahm bhut is actually getting is getting into brahm so how actually he can become uh, happy in uh, his own atma he already getting in brahm so this kind of vichar actually is uh, totally absolute and this is only one kind of uh, uh, actual speciality of bhakti only actual stage of bhakti only but here here actually dispose written shakti chinmay pani sparsh nahi kar sakta the maya shakti cannot uh, touch the transcendental water transcendental uh, boundary that maya shakti what is there that chinmay vari that that virja river it cannot touch that because but how actually getting the association how we are getting the association that this is nimit nimit karan upadan karam comes into play by nimit karan mahavishnu just by seeing with his eyes only he is actually watching on prakriti that's it and by just seeing towards prakriti all kind of countless jivas are just getting inside the womb of that prakriti devi but maya devi there is no not at all any contact with the vishnu tattva it is not at all possible that maya devi will be getting into contact with vishnu devi from the transcendental world there is no connection with this material world no connection it is totally different of the transcendental world that's why it is written that why you are speaking that what is the actual cause of vibhinanj about this it's written the cause of vibhinanj that maya's rajo tamo gun rajo sata tamo gun it is all akinchit akinchit means heyo so e jo akinchit hai so this actually which is akinchit in this rajo sato tamogun is already there and achit achit mane chit no achit which is not at all chit akinchit means useless no made mixture of sato rajo and tamogun no use but still it is of some use that's why this is not at all chit it is achit that's why in this maya all kind of that brahma shankar that kind of tat is getting manifested you cannot speak that it is swayam roop it is not at all but in tadik atma swarup you can find but it is not at all touching that at all that maya that satgun mishrit me admixture of satgun if maya satgun is also admix get mixed with that that kind of vishuddha satyansh you just be careful on this point very confusing in nature but if you be attentive then you can understand that maya devi satgun which i have already told you before that maya maya devi is actually mixed with satgun but what kind of maya devi satgun that maya devi satgun mishrit that mixture if inside maya that saturaj tamogun is already there but if some admixture is also there in saturaj tamogun in maya devi in me in that those who, that same vishuddha satyansh that i'll give you one example regarding this maybe 
this you have understand that maya devi has three modes of nature are actually admixed with each other and to get that same uh, serene uh, current position of one uh, material mode of nature if you want to get in uh, your life it is not at all possible to get uh, the actual same situation like one rajogun you can't get in your life or like one satogun you can't get in your life satogun rajogun and tamogun there will be admixture in our life it can't be possible that only satogun one person is having no rajogun tamogun is there or some person is possessing rajogun and no tamogun and satogun is there all the three admixtures of satto rajo and tamogun will definitely be persisting in a particular all the jivas countless jivas it just means to say this so that i can just make sure that no confusion can be there regarding this tatva vishnu ji hai brahma vishnu maheshwar brahma vishnu and maheshwar are brahma, there brahma ji and shankar i have already told you and now about vishnu what kind of vichar will come by so because in this material world there is actually a mixture of satro jantam and so about this so what about vishnu in this there is very important point that maybe just maybe maya devi that maya devi satogun uh, mix uh, and mixture is there that we should this satto is not at all possible to get in this material world but still that inside vishnu that had this kind of capacity is there that all the three uh, gun of uh, that it is becoming the principal deity he is actually separating that and making the topmost I'll give you example regarding this. Like one hunts, like swan is there. That it can just separate milk and water. Still, if it is getting mixed with each other, no father in the whole world can just separate milk from water at all. This kind of ability is only there with swan, available with swan. But only swan can do that. How it is possible? In this material world, that swan of this material world. if the material the swan of this material world this kind of capacity and ability is there to just separate water from milk it can separate it completely so why inside vishnu why this kind of power can't be there in vishnu but he is actually the infinity uh, brahmand uh, master so bhagwan it is impossible that bhagwan how how it, how it can be impossible in bhagwan so that's why this kind of question can come from this material world that maharaj that that brahma and shankar about you have already told that what about vishnu vishnu how actually can come in this material world because it is a admixture of satura jantama guna okay it is admixture of three guns but still that um, uh, satva guna is actually mixed mishrit of uh, uh, maya inside vishnu that uh, bhagwan Shak- bhagwat shakti is there and that kind of vishuddh satyansh is already there it means that vishnu can just separate that vishuddh satyansh and at the same time cannot be get contaminated from those three modes of material nature of maya when coming into in contact with maya so that kind of same principle deity of satyagun of vishnu so about vishnu if i can tell you in this material world definitely vishnu tatva has come i have already told you this shlok I already told you, you know this point. That Vishnu, that he is Parameshwar Tatva, but still he has so much power, has so much eligibility and power. Vishnu is having that Vishnu. That Vishnu has only Vishnu has this kind of power. That in this material world, that kind of creation maintenance, the maintenance of this material creation. the in charge of creation is uh, brahma and maintenance is vishnu and destruction is rudra is shiva shambhu destruction is shambhu so just by that also vishnu is paratattva paratattva in this material world if it will come but still in this material world with that qualities of material world it will not at all get contaminated it will get untouched like in brahad bhagavat amrita i have already told you that in brahad bhagavat amrita i have already told you what i have told in bhagavat abhag brahad bhagavat amrita i was discussing their gop kumar in order to understand 
get the understanding in order to give full understanding to gop kumar vaikunth uh, parshad they are speaking that you see that we are actually vaikunth parshad we are vaikunth we are actually vaikunth dhut we are vaikunth parshad but by having that kind of vaikunth parshad ta but it doesn't mean that we will be coming in this material world that by the actual message and instruction of bhagwan we have just descended onto the earth but we are actually complete vastu because we are vaikunth vastu that's why just by the instruction of bhagwan we have just uh, coming on to the material uh, platform in order to just uh, help in order to save someone we have to go here and there what to do so and also i have to come on earth but still prakriti uh, the material nature more modes of material nature is not at all touching us at all the actual material modes of nature it is not at all touching us so like this if those all vikunt parshad if all those vikunt parshad if this kind of vichar is coming regarding them then vikunt nath vishnu why actually it's not coming like that that maya that the actual satguna of maya it if it is admixed with that vishuddha satansh that kind of gunavatar is actually by his own will bhagwan is coming as gunavatar in that mishrit satguna of material modes of maya just by his own will he has just descended in this so vishnu is that purna saransh vilas and mahesh tatva it's already told about vaishnavanam yatha shambhu so definitely question will come that maharaj you are speaking so maheshwar if it is coming in trigun so how actually he can work as a role of guru how he can act as guru if he is coming in the modes of tam tam tamogun that in swarup maheshwar tatva in swarup he is actually free from maya in swarup tatva mahesh tatva is actually free from maya it is not at all uh, under the influence of maya mahesh tatva maya jukto it is not at all uh, contaminated with maya mahesh tatva is uh, free from maya but still that he is the actual prabhu of maya he is the actual husband of uh, uh, parvati ji so externally we can see that it is actually free from maya but in he is full of maya but in swarup shankar bhagwan is free from maya what is the actual vichar of shankar bhagwan vaishnav shambhu actual vaishnav is like shambhu but who are actually in this three modes of material nature how actually he can become vaishnav the actual answer regarding this is that at externally you can see that he is actually in maya but he is not at all in maya maya cannot touch shambhu mahishtat at all how actually it is possible about this i have already told but still he is actually prabhu of maya devi he is the actual uh, husband and master of maya devi that same hetu the original cause that govind and shambhu there is no difference at all they are free from the three modes of material nature and just for uh, creation maintenance and destruction for that purpose of the material creation they are doing that just for the creation and maintenance of this material world they are doing that so what is the original cause the original cause is govind that hetu swarup govind original cause govind that is actually vishnu that hetu swarup who is the original reason that hetu swarup govinds that with that there is no non difference with uh, that govind so that's why hetu swarup with go hetu swarup of govind that his own that he is non different from govind vishnu and uh, with hetu swarup govind shatya means apanatya it means that which actually getting manifested from uh, govind that vishnu that all kind of opulent with full opulent beauty that kind of 60 qualities are there in that vishnu 
he is actually getting manifested. It means that Brahma and Shiv, Brahma and Shiv, like uh, externally you can see they are actually mixed with uh, Rajagun and Tamagun. These are actually Gunavatars. Still they are actually getting into Gunavatar, but still they are. The Krishna is not like that. What actually written? Brahma and Shivji, like they are in, uh, they are mishra tattva of Maya in the material modes of nature. According to that, their swarup actually is different. According to the swarup, but still they are gunavatar. They comes in the category of gunavatar. They are always untouched by Maya. Vishnu, uh, Maya cannot spur, uh, touch at all. So. Brahma and Shivji, like they are actually Maya Gun Mishra Tattva, and still they are Gunavatar. Vishnu is not like that. Vishnu is is actually uh, uh, away from Maya. Narayan and Mahavishnu, in the form of Mahavishnu, he is getting manifested. That Mool Narayan, not at all, not single Narayan. That Mool Narayan, what in Bhagavatam it is written. That in Mahavishnu he is getting manifested, and Mahavishnu also manifested in Garbodakshay Mahavishnu, and Garbodakshay manifested in Shirodakshay Mahavishnu, and each in each and every Brahman he is getting manifested. He is only uh, in that form. So that's why that Vishnu's name is Charishnu. In all each and every jiva that Vishnu is actually there inside. Each and every particular so, object, Vishnu is there. Narayan so, the Narayan, Narayan and that Mool Narayan, from that Mahavishnu is actually Mahavishnu. getting manifested, and that Mahavishnu is manifested in the form of uh, Garbodakshay Mahavishnu, then, and that same uh, Kirodakshay Mahavishnu he is actually getting manifested. And this wish, that is the actual uh, uh, reason of this material creation. Vishnu is actually Ishwar. Vishnu is actually Ishwar. And and other kind of guna avatars what you can see ishwar uh, the vishnu is ishwar but uh, the other the two guna avatars which i am speaking brahma and shiva brahma and shankar they are all the oh, and with all the rest of the demigods they are actually aditattva aditat they are not separate they have no liberty they are they are not at all fully independent they are aditattva they are dependent on someone. They are Aditattva. Vishnu is Ishwar. And all those Gunavatar, Brahma, Shankar and all those demigods, they are Aditattva. They are Aditattva. They are not independent fully. They are actually dependent on Vishnu. That they are Adhikarik Tattva Vishesh. And like Deep, I have already given you the example of a lamp that one lamp is actually uh, glowing and with that lightning of the lamp but that's that mool deep that mool lamp major major lamp which is actually glowing from that i have already seen in radha kund at the time of diwali i have already seen then at the time of radha Ashtami also i have seen at radha kund that all kind of uh, lamps they are actually thousands of lamps they are actually burning and so much people that from the main major lamp they are actually uh, whole Radha Kund they are uh, lighting with lamps it looks very externally very beautiful I have already seen oh so nice actually it looks but that main major major lamp from that actually that is actually major lamp only he is actually igniting all the other lamps so that original lamp from that is actually Krishna from where all the lamps have just burned so ignited so from Bhagwan Shri Krishna actually there is no difference from non Narayan and Vishnu and Ram there is no difference at all but still there is difference but still there is difference there is no difference but still there is difference so this is Achintya Bheda Tattva why because Govind is the that Govind, if you are comparing with that major lamp, go, you are comparing Govind with the major lamp, then if you are actually comparing, then Mahadeep, that uh, he is the actual Vilas Murti, from where all the other lamps are getting ignited. Our, 
महाप्रभु गौरंग महाप्रभु आवा श्रीमन महाप्रभु वेन ही वेंट टू साउथ इंडिया एट द हाउस ऑफ वेंकट भट्ट एंड तिरुमल भट्ट ही एक्चुअली डिस्कस देयर विद देम That Krishna Swarup, Krishna Swarup and Vishnu, there is no difference at all. They are not different. The Tattva is actually not different. It's all the same, but still some speciality is there. Tattva is actually not different. It is the same, but still some speciality is there regarding that Tattva. But still. according to the vichar that abhed op sri krishna isha swarup hai eh siddhanta vastu abhed op sri isha krishna swarup hai eh isha swarup hai alag hai it is different looks different but still it is there is no difference but still some difference is there in siddhant but still leela ka upar when the leela you are actually when that kind of uh, taste uh, rasa in the leela definitely some difference is there in that definitely difference in the rasa of that leela sweetness of the rasa of that leela there is difference is there in that so mahadvip govind that vilas murti from that that mahavishnu garbhodakshai kirudakshai ram etc all those avatars are getting different different forms they are actually getting manifested and it's just like igniting lamp they are actually taking the transcendental forms and that same govind that by the chit shakti of govind they are actually getting uh, uh, manifested uh, eternally transcendental in nature you understand the point what i'm speaking bhed kuch nahi there is no difference but still there is some difference shivan siddhanta tastu abhed op shri krishna isha swarupayo rasena utkishati krishna roopam isha rasasthiti e hari This actually is written in Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu also in the Guru Vibhag. There actually it is written. The actually Mahaprabhu speaking this point. Maybe it is not at all different. It's all the same. The Tattva, but still some speciality is there. That actual Sarup of Krishna, it is all the same. स्वरूप तत्व रंगनाथ तिरुपति एवरीथिंग इज द सेम बट बट स्टिल कृष्ण अबाउट दैट विचार इफ यू आर टेकिंग दैट देर इज एक्चुअली डीपर स्वीटनेस इन द रसा इन श्री कृष्ण स्वरूप दैट इज द टॉप मोस्ट इन श्री कृष्ण स्वरूप अदर स्वरूप इज ऑल द सेम इट इज नॉट एट ऑल डिफरेंट बट स्टिल सम डिफरेंस इज देयर बाय नॉट it is not difference is there but still difference is there you understand the point but whatever be the case so this i have already seen that that is actually sarva karan karan bhagwan about which this in brahm samhita in that shlok we have already discussed and by the actual kripa and by the topmost mercy and kripa today is actually shivratri tithi very lucky i am that vaishnavanam yatha shambhu about him actually i am actually getting the chance to uh, serve him by speaking him his glorification upupitto dipayate vipitto hetu samana dharma yas tatrik evahi cha vishnu daya vibhati vivindamadi purusham tamam bajami ye sab chacha this already i have discussed with you so someone agar if just uh, having this diff, uh, opposite to vichar if someone actually thinking that vara is down and uh, kurm is down ram is actually top most this is not like that the tatva vichar it's not like that it's all the same but 
the lila sweetness of lila according to that it is actually getting uh, categorized and some kind of effect is we can see in this material creation or and nothing is there apart from that this is the actual reason and after this one shlok is there uh, i want to discuss about that as well in that shlok it is written What actually is written here? Yes, hear it carefully. Just hear it carefully. What does it mean actually? What does it mean actually? That Adhar Shakti. Adhar Shakti means you understand. What do you mean by Adhar Shakti? That from that Shakti that all actually is actually is getting controlled. This whole world. Infinity world is getting controlled. That is the Adhar Shakti. That Bhagwan has infinity Shakti and one is Adhar Shakti of Bhagwan, which is controlling everything. So Adhar Shakti Swarup. So that Adhar Shakti Mai. So Adhar Shakti Mai, this Bhagwan, this kind of, he is Anantadev, he is actually serving Bhagwan in lot of uh, uh, ways. Like it, lot of secret is there behind that. That, that Anant Rupi, Infinity Rup, Hari and in the Sheshnak form that he is actually serving Bhagwan in different ways. And he is just taking the earth on his head, on his fan, Anantadev. That Adhar Shakti in that Swarup, that Anantadev, that Sheshak with the Sheshavatar, that is the topmost Swamurti of that Mahavishnu, that from his each and every hair follicle, infinity Brahmand is there like that in his each and every hair follicle, that Karnada Dakshai Mahavishnu in Karan Sagar with the help of Yog Nidra, in that he is actually doing association. That Adi Purish Govind, I am actually want to worship that. That Adhar Shakti, that Bhagwan has infinity Shakti, but one one of the Shakti is Adhar Shakti, and by taking the support of Adhar Shakti, that Adhar Shakti may Shesh Anant Shesh, that Bhagwan is that Murti in that form. Bhagwan is. Uh, that from the each and every hair follicle, that Kira uh, Karna Daksha Mahavishnu in the Karan Ocean, that same Bhagwan in the Karan Ocean, that with Yog Nidra, he is actually getting association with Yog Nidra, and that same Govind, I am actually want to do worship him. You understand the point when I am speaking. The actual purport and conclusion of this is that, the actual conclusion is that, that Mahavishnu, 
who is actually in the in the Karan Ocean in the Yog Nidra posture that that Jagat Karta Mahavishnu that each and every hair for a cell that infinity Brahman are there that same Bhagwan that you can't measure him what kind of vichar is there immeasurable and infinity that Mahavishnu that uh, Shaya that uh, that uh, Shaya Swarup that is Anant Shesh you have already seen that we are actually Mahavishnu is sleeping in Yog Nidra that kind of sleeping posture that is Ananta Tattva that Vishnu you have seen no is actually taking uh, uh, Yog Nidra he is actually sleeping the actual Darshanic purport is that understand the point like uh, that you need one chair to just sit that is enough for you and one bad state is enough for you to uh, sleep but for Bhagwan it's not like that that Bhagwan in for to get Bhagwan our heart our heart should get infinity Ananta means Ananta Dev we have to just take inside our heart so that Bhagwan can just sit inside our heart when our heart is just getting totally free from contamination and that kind of sadharma we are getting compar- comparable with Ananta Dev we can get that then definitely Bhagwan will just get inside our heart definitely it will uh, that's why in Kirtan it is written Each and every particle Bhagwan is there, but especially Bhagwan is there in the inside the heart of uh, Guru Vaishnav. How it is possible that inside that Ananta Dev is there inside the heart of pure devotees? That's why Bhagwan is sitting there. That they are actually getting sadharma because Bhagwan, where we have to just take very small space, we don't have any uh, space to put. Like uh, like Satyavrata has already uh, manifested this Leela in front of us one very small fish he is actually becoming uh, in the form of uh, matsya but satyavrata just uh, taking bath there in kritama in kritamala river he is taking bath uh, satyavrata and there actually he has done all the tarpan etc there and there immediately one uh, f- when very small fish very small fish just came uh, uh, in his hand very very small fish in his hand it came are what it is and when he just want to uh, drown that fish in the river he started uh, crying and speaking i am very small fish why are you actually drowning me again in the water if you will just uh, uh, you just don't drown me in the river because other bigger fishes will uh, catch me and eat me up so you just take me with you and in the kamandalu he just put that in the and when that fish is going into that kamandalu that I don't have this much space, oh Rajan, just give me a big space, <laughs> like this fish speaking to Satyavrata. And again, that he has just given one into one lake, and that I can't accommodate in lake, you just please prepare a big space for me. And so again, okay, no worries, then he is just taking into the river, and he, then after that it's going into the ocean, oh my God, how it is possible, Satyavrata, he is just getting out of his consciousness, oh my God. Then fraction of second this fish is actually increasing. Maybe this is, is not at all fish at all. This is Parat Parakuleshwar Parabrahma. Sakshat he is there. It's look that it's a Matsya Swarup. Oh my God. It's increasing fraction of second. After that he understood that that yes definitely it's, he's right. That Parabrahma Parat Parakuleshwar Bhagwan. That his accommodation in infinity Brahman you can, cannot give so in just small space he will not but still he is actually there in the form of small boy he is getting you see in he is actually sleeping in the lap that is the actual uh, leela of Bhagwan. so this actually Mahavishnu Shaya we are actually he is sleeping that Ananta Tattva we are actually speaking just by speaking that it means that we have to uh, give rest to Bhagwan in that infinity background that is actually uh, that kind of uh, uh, Shesh Nag, Ananta Shesh is actually serving Bhagwan as his servant in different different ways. And another shlok after that, uh, today I can't uh, just uh, describe that uh, in full. So tomorrow I will be just describing this in front of you. What is that? Govindamari Purusham Tamam Bajami Jashaikanishi Shito Kadamatavalambo 
जीवन पिलो विरजा जगदंडनाथा विश्वर महान सयोजसु कला विशेषो गोविंद मादि पुरुषम तमाम बजामी Today I will be just uh, be giving rest up till this point. The slok which I have already started with today. What is that slok? You understand the point, na? No? You already remember that, na? No? Today it is not possible. Just by the topmost kripa of Shivji Maharaj, I have just discussed about him by his glorification. Today is Shivratri, and in this chapter, same chapter, in this same sloka, this it has come. खीरम यथा दधि विकार विशेष जोगा संजायते नहीं तथा पृथकस्थ हेतु यथि तथा समपैत कर याद गोविंद मादि पुरुषम तमाम बजामी आज यहाँ तक चर्चा का विश्राम दे क्षमा करे जय शिव जी महाराज की जय हो वाचकल पुत्र के पास सिंधु भज पति तानंग बाबू ने भो वैष्णव नमो नमो